launched Heartland in uh, July 4 of 04. We started at Festival Place and I, I don't know why, but I said, God, I was praying, God, could there just be 91 people here? That'd be, that'd be cool. Well, I was surprised, 325 showed up that first weekend. And the way we went, next weekend it was even higher. It's really God's thing. I was just the dummy that walked around behind them. Really, that's all it was. Annette and I, if we would like to be involved, and it was something that uh, we were keen to do. We used to meet regularly and, and pray and, and talk about the direction of the church. But the one thing that really struck me right from, from the very beginning was how important the children's ministries is. I truly felt that was a key component to the growth of the church, or even the success of the church. I recall the first I heard of Heartland was at a prayer Sunday night prayer meeting. And what I remember most about those prayer meetings is that we prayed for the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit to go before us. If you have been impacted towards God in any way while you were at Heartland, I just want to say I know that that was because of the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. During the early years of Heartland, it was just so amazing to see God moving and working in so many different ways by taking some of those founding values and the vision that, that he had given out. And for it to come to life through core ministries such as three global partnerships, three community partnerships, uh, there was a vision and a passion to take marriage seriously and to, to prepare our young couples for spending a life together by, by raising the bar on pre-marriage and, and what it could be and to do that with an unashamed way so that we could build a church where our families had the best start they possibly could have. I think the things I would celebrate the most all center around the people that are here and the way they've impacted my life and the way I see God moving and working in their lives. I have found true community, like friends, but also like sisters in Christ that will walk with me. I can be real with them and I can trust them and they are the same with me. And for me, that's been the most impactful. I remember the very first service that I was a part of. At the end of the sermon, we actually took some time to uh, be silent and to invite the Holy Spirit to speak. And I just remember how refreshing that felt. And in that moment, I knew I wanted to be a part of what God was doing here. And I just appreciate the recognition that, that Jesus is the head of this church and an emphasis on hearing God and listening prayer over the years. And that is something that has really helped me grow as a follower of Christ. You know, I am, I am so grateful for our time at Heartland. Being involved in the small group network, the small group network was really the backbone of the church. I think of all the small group leaders through the years that I've worked with, watching them influence and shepherd the hearts of their people, especially for those who didn't think they could, they, they knew how to do that or they could ever do that. And yet to watch God do that in them and through them. I'm just so grateful to be a part of what God was doing. When I first started attending here, I didn't necessarily know a lot about what it meant to be an authentic church community and what that meant to live that out every day as Jesus wants us to. I've gotten some really good, solid friendships and relationships. And I've also seen people develop really strong friendships through uh, small groups and through 
uh, heart to heart. Uh, I've also seen uh, women take risks and invite their neighbors and build the community in that way and then invite them here and that is what I've seen over the years. Being part of Heartland, it's been really cool just to see how they've really encouraged just serving other people and helping other people. And we've been involved in the work in El Salvador for many years. Heartland's really got behind that and supported that, as well as locally here, just really supporting, reaching out into our community and helping our community. Um, Heartland's always put a big emphasis on that. So I started attending Heartland uh, when I was 10. That was 18 years ago. I got involved with the youth group and was able to join the worship team there. And just over the years, I was given more opportunity to develop that skill and to start singing on the teams and then eventually to start leading. It's been something that has really allowed me to deepen my faith. It's the way that I love to connect with God most. As I look back at 20 years of Heartland, I gotta celebrate all that God has done in our kids and youth area. He's over 20 years created a legacy of kids and youth uh, growing up here and now becoming contributors as they lead worship, as they uh, teach kids now, as they greet at the doors, as they go out into the rest of their lives and they share Jesus with other people. Oh God, teach us to pray. You desire that your church above all things would be a house of prayer.